Over 75% of new vehicles sold in Europe are fitted with some form of forced induction system. Is this just a marketing trend that will soon die off? Or is there a genuine reason for this number? Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. All engines require air to enter their combustion chambers on the intake stroke. In a perfect scenario, when the piston is at bottom dead centre, the cylinder is full. A naturally aspirated internal combustion four-stroke engine burns oxygen drawn from the atmospheric air, which it uses to create the pressure needed to drive the crankshaft. But at sea level, the air in our atmosphere only contains about 20% oxygen, with the rest made up from nitrogen, CO2 and other gases. So knowing this, we can see that our engine cylinder only contains a small amount of usable fuel. Of course, these are optimal conditions. If the engine were operated in elevated regions, there is less oxygen available due to the lower atmospheric pressures at these high altitudes. So with less oxygen, the engine produces much less power. Another consideration we need to look at is engine speed as well as cylinder head and intake manifold design. As the engine speed increases, the time available for air to enter the engine on the intake stroke is reduced. At these speeds, intake manifolds and valves begin to restrict the flow of air, resulting in reduced cylinder volumes. At higher crankshaft speeds, most naturally aspirated standard production engines become less volumetrically efficient due to this reduced air mass. Like what you see? To gain access to the most advanced automotive technical training available, visit our website and be the best technician you can be.